A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Does a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from its den unless it has seized something? Is a bird brought to earth by a snare when there is no lure for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in a city, will the people not be frightened? If evil befalls a city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy? I brought upon you such upheaval as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, you were like a brand plucked from the fire. Yet you returned not to me, says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel. And since I will deal thus with you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. At dawn I will bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Irenaeus, early bishop of the church and martyr, teacher of the faith, the opening prayer told us that he preserved true doctrine and fostered unity and concord in the church. You know, brothers and sisters, too many leaders of faith today think that those two things are in tension with each other or somehow don't mix in other words, that in order to promote unity, you have to be unclear about truth. Or that if you are too insistent that there is such a thing as true doctrine versus false, or too clear about where that boundary line is, that somehow you're not promoting unity. It is hard to find a more erroneous idea. It is hard to find an idea that is more of a, an obstacle to the work of salvation today. Because Jesus Christ is the truth, and he is the one who said, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. The unity of the church is a unity in faith, hope, and love. It's a unity in the spirit. 
It's a unity in Christ, the body, the living vine, the living temple. It is a unity in truth. You cannot divorce truth from any of those dimensions, including love, that describe who we are as a community of faith. And we're a community of faith symbolized by the trust these disciples had there in the boat, acknowledging the one whom not only the winds and the sea obey, but the stars and the very course of human history, putting trust in him and prophesying when he speaks. The work of Irenaeus in promoting true doctrine around which the unity of the church flourishes is symbolized, is, is, is signified when this first reading today says, the Lord speaks who will not prophesy. You don't receive the truth without also becoming a proclaimer of it. That's integral. You receive the truth of the gospel, you bear witness to it to others. That's prophesying. It's not foretelling the future simply. It's telling the present. Bearing witness to what God thinks about what's going on right now and what he wants us to do today. St. Irenaeus, pray for us and pray for all church leaders and pray for all of us members of the faithful that we may foster unity by prophesying truth as we trust in you in every circumstance of wind and waves and as we rejoice in your protection. Amen.